Good morning. Good morning. I'm Aruba. That's right. I'm Favor. I'm Robert. Welcome to day four of the Carnival Horizon April 2023 eight day, eight night Southern Caribbean cruise. And as Robert said, today we are in the beautiful Aruba. Yes. So don't forget along the side of the screen here, you're going to see all of today's activities, the menus, any kind of information I can possibly put on the screen, it's going to be right here for you. It's going to scroll quickly because otherwise you'll see it throughout this whole entire video. Just hit pause so that you can see the information that you're trying to see. Now, all the information for the excursion that we are going on today and the price of this cruise and anything we spent on this cruise because we are not sponsored in any way is also down in the description box. If you're watching on your TV, go grab your phone, go grab your laptop or your iPad and pull this video up on youtube.com and then you can see down in the description box everything you'd like to be. Now, we got all the information out of the way. Today, we are on a private tour and we are going to Baby Beach. We're going to a restaurant called Bedrock, I believe. No, Big Mom. I think it's Big Mama's place. Oh, okay. It's a Flintstone theme restaurant. That's it. There you go. So we're going to do all of that. If you're interested in what we're wearing, well, that's in the sneak peek, which I'll link right up there for you. <laughs> all right, you guys, we're very excited. Uh, I did not go and look at the buffet this morning. I didn't do any of that. Look, it's the same thing that I showed you on this on the sea days. It really is. It's the same every yep. day. Okay. Here is the port day breakfast menu. It is a faster dining room breakfast menu. It's a little bit faster. We meet at 10 a.m. in front of Diamonds International outside of the port to get our tour started. Yep. All right. We'll see you in just a second. Real quick, before we head downstairs, I wanted to give you a bird's eye view of disembarking and the little port area. So we are forward. So there are the forward disembarkation or the exit spots for the ship. You see there's stairs there, more stairs, but down on the midship is a ramp. So if you have a scooter or you need a ramp, it's right there. It's midship. Cookie did announce that, and they also said that in the uh, Fun Aboard, Fun Ashore show. So all that information was there. So what we're going to do is we're going to exit the ship. We're going to go on down. We're going to look in there for a minute. I don't know if there's anything in there. I have no idea. Then we're going to walk down and our tour meets right there in front of Diamonds International. So I do see some little shops and stuff right there. So that's probably where we're gonna end up this morning before our tour time. So I'm very excited, very, very excited. We do have Aruba vlogs on the channel. We did do an island tour with Carnival and uh, we really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna leave that linked up for you in an iCard and down in the description box. It's very convenient. Our cabin is right here, and there are the forward stairs. <laughs> so we go down one deck, and we get to disembark the ship. So when we get back on the ship, it's super convenient. We don't have to wait for the elevator. We just take one step set of stairs right up to our cabin. Here we go. Hello, Aruba. Now watch your step, okay? Woo, a little slippery. Or steep, it's not slippery, it's steep. All right, I'll see you when we get inside the building. All right, we are inside the building. So there's a few little shops in here. If you need a rash guard or t-shirt, ooh, cute little pink sweatshirt. <gasps> That's so cute. Then you can get one. Oh, there's a Sabaro and a Quiznos and a Cinnabon and a coffee. Don't forget, you need your ship's card and your identification, some sort of uh, photo ID. All right, there she is. See, the signs tell you, to town. I'm sure these little shops open up. Exit to downtown. Again, driver's license or ID card picture ID and your ship's card. See? There are the instructions. You need to make sure you have that before you walk through this door, this gate. Good morning. Okay, the shops weren't quite open yet, so but I'm sure they will be in a little bit. So we're just going to kind of cross the street and see what we see. They have little scooters. You just pick them up and rent them. The instructions are hanging off of them. They also have the bikes. So if you just want to get off the ship and cut around, 
you can do that. The I Love Aruba sign. Exit the port, you come right there is the I Love Aruba sign. Literally right there. So you come off the ship and you can come right here. There is a little bit of a line, but if you wait a little bit in the afternoon, the line goes down. Here's our van for the day. Very nice, very, very nice. Very, very nice. So it's completely accessible. Very nice. Robert, what's the rule? Wear your seatbelt. Wear your seatbelt. That's right. Put it on. Wow, this is the high mangroves. Oh, it's so beautiful. He says it's normally quite still and flat, but uh, it's choppy and windy today, so. It's gorgeous. Those mangroves, those are the mangroves over there. Look how the water, Robert just showed me the water eroding out from underneath the rocks and the line, the, the shoreline. Aruba is a desert. It just seems, oh, it's like, is that a shark? What is that in the water right there? It's probably just something in the water. <laughs> so. get right in the water right here if you'd like oh there's a bike in the water there's two bikes in the water there's many bikes in the water oh no well I mean okay there you go it's absolutely beautiful beautiful off to the next spot we are in St. Nicholas the murals that girl right here the painting of that girl that is the that is Sarakita Ofrinda. She is 20 time world champion freestyle surfing. Yeah, they love it when the wind is strong. People run because the winds become bigger and they run in it. They go, they go kite surfing. Oof. First time using this phone case I have no idea if you can hear me or not if you can't we'll do a voiceover but we are at baby beach which they actually call bachelor beach if you need to use the restroom you need to make a purchase at the restaurant and then you can use the restroom okay. or pay to use the restroom so here we go I'm very excited look at the sand Absolutely gorgeous. Nothing wrong with this. <laughs> it is very bright. You do need your sunglasses. Gorgeous. It's very shallow. I'm still only at like my thighs. What do you think, Robert? Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. This is stunning. Waist deep, see your feet, crystal clear water. Nothing yeah. to complain about. And we're pretty far out. It's yeah. Shallow. This is cool. Oh, it's so sweet. Yeah, you came right up by us. Oh, we missed the turtle. Awesome. Okay, I know there's water on the screen. I can't help that. We're in the water. I'm able to stand all the way out here. So, I mean, we are all the way out here. So, nice. That's nice. I appreciate being able to stand. He said it's kind of the wind is coming from the other direction today, and that's probably why I'm it's choppy and or moving the way that it is. He said normally the wind's coming from the other way, so this is pretty still. So just keep that in mind. The weather, it can't change the weather. I mean, the weather is the weather. And then you can see the big waves crashing on the other side of the break. So, I mean, it's, you can see it's rough out there, but we're in this little cove and it's nice and calm and. Okay, so we've walked around the back of the restaurant and this is where the restrooms are. It is $2 per person to use the restroom. Okay, so 
just keep in mind it is if you are not eating at the restaurant if you don't have a palapa or a tent or anything over there that you have purchased then it is uh, two dollars per person for the restroom but you can come back you just hold on to your ticket you can come back as frequently as you need to but if you're eating at the restaurant you don't have to pay for it look at fred flintstone's car and dino that's so cute we are going to eat there later so i'll show you the restaurant inside later so pretty here we go we're gonna eat there's robert robert ordered a cheeseburger with french fries yep how are those fries honey hot, hot. <laughs> donna got a fish sandwich i'm very jealous because that is what i would have ordered mm -hmm. yep here's my chicken platter these are plantains this is the grilled chicken it's coleslaw and rice and peas rice and beans delicious very very delicious well, we had a wonderful time here at Baby Beach. There's our ride waiting for us. Um, you know what? I didn't ever find out how much the little... Find out. Yeah, let me go find out how much those are. I'll be right back. Okay, so you'll come right over here, and they are $60 for the whole day. Not bad. And they provide lots of shade. They set them up for you. And that also gives you access to the ladies' room, or the men's room, or the restroom whatever you prefer to call it, it gives you access to it. I highly recommend the restaurant. That was really good. And make sure, make sure, if you do nothing else, get the plantains. <laughs> All right, heading back to the van. Donkey Sanctuary. They snorkel here. Yeah, snorkeling here. Yeah, snorkeling. And what beach is this? This is Boca Catalina. Boca Catalina. It's beautiful. And there is the lighthouse. Uh, you, it's like five bucks to go up. So if you want to go up, you can go up to the top. 117 step a ruse. So there you go. So our guide told us if the license plate says V it's a visitor, A, it's a local. Pretty cool. Well, you can see her peeking back there. We are back at the ship. We are gonna head back on and take a shower. And then we're either gonna come back out and do a little walking around and have some dinner, maybe have dinner on the ship. We haven't quite decided yet, but a lot of the shops this morning when we went through were closed. Um, so we're just gonna kind of wander around. Now, if we see anything interesting, of course, I will show you. There she is. Back in the room, look at our little guy. He's so cute. Beautiful sunshine outside. It was a good day, very good day. All right, we had to come back out and explore a little bit more. Look at that ship. She looks so beautiful at night. It's such a treat to get to see it from a distance at night. Beautiful. All right, we're gonna go get back on the ship. I've taken a few pictures, so. I just, I absolutely love to see the ships at night. I've already said that, but I'm telling you again. <laughs> We're headed back onto the ship. We're gonna eat some dinner. Have some dinner? Yeah, I'm not sure what. Go to bed. Yes. So we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Probably go to bed because we is tired. <laughs> we got lots to do tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is so exciting. Tomorrow we are on a private excursion, just the four of us. I'm not sure what kind of boat, but they're gonna take us out on a boat. Snorkeling in Just the four of us. How amazing is that going to be? I'm very excited. Deli time. So I'm going to get a steak and cheese. What are you going to get, Robert? Steak and cheese without any horse yeah. radish, if they can make it. Yeah, no horsey sauce for us. So here we go. The menu's on the screen for you. I just have to tell <laughs> That's right, because it looks so good. It, it looks really good. <laughs> This is a gluten-free and they toasted the whole thing so the bread is nice and deliciously soft. That is a steak and cheese with no horsey sauce. And then I did pick up some potatoes off the buffet. Oh my goodness, I am very excited about eating this. So if you do need to order gluten-free or with specific food allergies, intolerances, etc., do expect to wait a little bit. Tonight especially, they had to go and get the bread. It wasn't near the deli. So it was about 15, 15, 20 minute wait, which isn't too bad, but I mean, 
just know that that's gonna happen. But I do appreciate that they can make it right when I order it. I don't have to pre-order it. Well, it has been a long day for you and a long day for us. Got a little bit of sun. <laughs> yes, Robert did get some sun today. I did not. <laughs> I wear a rash guard with long sleeves and his with short sleeves. Did you have your hat on? I did have my hat on. Wow. I do wear a lot of sunscreen on my face, so we'll put some on Robert tomorrow yeah. for sure. Because we, more. yeah, listen, tomorrow is going to be a super exciting day in Bonaire. So don't miss that vlog. Okay. I'm telling you, subscribe. You don't want to miss it. Okay. There was a lot to see and do today. It was an amazing day. Yes. We were in Aruba from eight and we're still in Aruba. It's nine o'clock. We haven't even left yet. All on boards in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And so sit on the balcony yeah relax. we are because we are on the away. port side yeah i'm so excited all right you guys thank you so much for joining us don't forget to subscribe please give this video a thumbs up and let's see what else is there don't forget tomorrow's bonaire we have an excellent snorkeling excursion and we will see you in the next one good night good night bye aruba until next time we sure had a good time Outside, it's like negative degrees. No, I ain't trying to freeze. I'm just trying to bring the heat, yeah. In a mood, but we're gonna kick the blues. Trying to see a little color, so I'm eating fruity loose. Lost that funky feeling inside. No, it ain't worth your time, baby. You got a good life. It's time to feel Baby, you